Hi guys, let me make it go here. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to dye a dress. So the materials I've got are polyester, they're 95% polyester. So I've chosen a white dress that I need to turn purple. So um, if you are ready to watch me basically destroy my stove top because I've chosen the wrong pot size, um, just keep watching. Um, and there's other craft videos in the works as well. Thanks, have a good day. I'm going to be using the I Dye Poly with Colour Intensifier. Um, so the first thing it says is use a large pot and put enough warm water in it so that the piece of fabric or the item of clothing that you're dyeing can move freely. Um, so what I did is I actually put, I'm drying, um, dyeing this white dress here so I actually put the white dress into the pot and filled it up with water and then um, squeezed the dress out and just put it over here um, just to make sure that I didn't put too much water in or um, not enough not enough probably wouldn't be an issue but if I put too much water in I'd be losing some of the some of the dye so I've had a bit of a catastrophe. I accidentally broke the dye packet. Um, so what I did is I just quickly picked it up and chucked it in the water. Um, and I now have dye on my hands and on my body, <laughs> but that's okay. So the next step is to just put the dye into the water um, and let that dissolve. I'm just going to try and clean this up. So it, uh, once you put it on the stove, you turn it onto a high heat and you want to try and get this uh, plastic packet to dissolve. So I'm just stirring it. Um, when it looks like there's like a lump of plastic, I'm pushing it and sometimes I find like powder comes out. So it's important to make sure that all of that powder is fully dissolved. Just so you know, I've cleaned my bench as well. You can still see the purple stain, but that's okay. <laughs> Crisis averted. But it does point out, I guess, how fragile these dissolvable packets are. So make sure that you don't um, puncture them by putting something on top of them. Or um, I guess even if you dropped it, it might it might burst. So just be very careful unless you get um, unless you want powder everywhere. So once that's uh, pretty much dissolved, um, just so you know, I'm stirring this with a wooden spoon. I'm pretty sure it's going to dye my wooden spoon, so just be aware of that. Um, once it's dissolved, the next step is to put the color intensifier packet um, and put that into this, this dye pot. Uh, so I'm going to do that uh, off camera because I need uh, two hands. So once all of that color intensifier is in, I'm going to uh, put the fabric in and bring it to a rolling boil, it says. Um, just so you know as well, this does have a bit of a bad smell, but it's, it's not too empowering. Um, I'm going to, it's, yeah, it's not over empowering and I'm going to turn the exhaust fan on and it should be fine. So here is my dress. I'm going to put it into the pot now. Oh, it, it sizzles. That's not a good sign. So I would have liked to have done this with a bigger pot, but I unfortunately don't have one. So I think it's important just to, I mean, the fabric's supposed to be moving freely. Obviously I can't do that, um, but I am going to just try and make this as full of motion as I can. Um, you're supposed to I guess stir it frequently and boil it for 30 minutes to an hour. 
this packet here, if you open it at the top, like that, and then if you tear along this perforated line, so if you tear along there and the bottom, it opens up to the full instructions. So um, that's where it talks to you about how this one is specifically for dyeing polyester. So the dress I'm dyeing is 95% polyester and 5% elastin. Um, and that's because polyester requires high heat to, to actually dye, for the dye to actually take to the fabric, um, which is why we're doing this on a stovetop. So I know the longer that you have it in the dye bath, the more intense the colour. Um, the purple I'm going for, I don't really want it to be too much darker than it shows, so I'm only going to have it in there for half an hour, not the full hour. Um, but I want to make sure that it is boiling for a lot of that time. Um, the other thing is it's starting to boil a little bit now, so I'm just going to turn it down. I also notice I've had a few, I mean, these splashes were, oh, ow, splashing on me. Um, so it is splashing, so I am going to definitely turn it down. Luckily, I don't have a pristine white stovetop, so this is not a problem, but do be aware, especially if you're using a smaller pot like I am, I think that's why it's sort of bubbling over. I need to make sure that I'm having constant agitation of the product and I'm stirring it all the time and I'm actually trying to roll it over I guess um, and that's to make sure that I have a uniform colour. So I've had it uh, boiling for uh, just over 10 minutes now. Um, I am having a lot of trouble with it splashing and I think that's definitely down to having used a smaller pot. Yeah, so the pot is way too small for what I'm trying to do. Um, I am still trying to keep stirring it, make sure I get that uniform colour, but yeah, I cannot wait for this to be done. Um, what I've found, look, there's a massive spill over here. What I've found is that the purple is wiping off um, this surface of my stovetop really easily, um, so I'm not too worried about that, but I have noticed it is like I can't get that off that's on that handle. Um, I feel a little bit like I'm making plum jam, <laughs> but it does, definitely does not smell like plum jam. Yep, in I definitely would recommend a larger pot so that you can, because I think I don't I don't really think I would have been comfortable if I'd put less water in, maybe a little bit less water, but it's important that the fabric is really surrounded by water and really gets distributed through there easily. Okay, I'm done for just over half an hour now. Um, my stove is an absolute mess, partially because I'm pretty clumsy, but yeah, as I said, it's definitely, we need to use a bigger pot. So I'm going to turn the heat off and um, I then need to remove the garment from the dye um, and then rinse it in cold water, but because it's really, really hot, I'm actually just going to wait a little while for this to cool down. Um, just, just a really short time, and then I'm going to transfer it into this bowl and then take it over to the, um, to the tub where I can rinse it with cold water. Alright, so I've got the hot dress and I'm just going to put some cold water on it. Wow, it looks quite cool on camera. I can see that colour washing out. I can also see the water splashing everywhere. So it says that the dye is completely uh, septic tank and sewer safe, so you can just tip it down the drain. I feel like a lot of the dye is washing out and it's becoming quite pink. Um, it's not as pink as it shows on camera, um, but it's definitely not violet like it says. And now I'm worried I took it out too soon. After I rinsed the dress clear, I actually put it in the washing machine. I put it on a delicate cycle and I used um, purity sensitive laundry liquid. I only used an 800 RPM spin cycle. 
And while that was cleaning, I then went and cleaned my stove. So most of the things came off the stovetop. Um, and to be honest, the stovetop definitely needed a clean. So that was good. <laughs> I hung the dress out to dry. Once the dress was dry, I gave it a really quick iron and here is the final result. Just one point, um, make sure when you iron polyester your iron is set to quite a low heat. Um, I also used the spray function on my iron. As you can see there's still some wrinkles. The colour is pretty uniform. Um, I definitely think a bigger pot would have been way better. So that's my top tip from this video. Make sure you use a very large pot. Have a good day, guys. Bye.